Let's get more on this. We're joined by Iraq's former national security advisor, Muwafaq al rubai who is live for us in Baghdad. Now, Muwafaq, many thanks for joining us. Uh, we, the departure of the Americans did not mean the end of the chaos and instability in Iraq, but we have now seen the recent removal of Daesh and an election in Iraq. Do you see a more positive future for the country? Uh, there is, the failure is not an option. Uh, Iraq has to succeed. And we are learning a lot from our own mistakes over the last 10 years or so. But there is a difference, a huge difference, between uh, a country which is occupied by a foreign military forces and a country which is independent, sovereign, has its own decision, making its own uh, uh, um, destiny. So this is, uh, I think that people would not uh, realize how important, how important uh, the, the sovereignty and the independence and the withdrawal of the American troops uh, from Iraq. Whether that uh, timing of the withdrawal uh, was right and whether the American has fulfilled their, uh, uh, their uh, promises, that's a completely different matter. Uh, because we have agreed with the American two agreements, actually. We entered into two agreements. Number one, uh, we gave them three years to withdraw. And during these three years, they should have uh, trained our Iraqi military forces, equip, uh, mil uh, equip them with, with military weapons and uh, training, and also in build up the intelligence capacity of the country. But they failed miserably on this, actually. And that's why when the, when the withdrawal at the end of 2011 happened, that was irres irresponsible uh, withdrawal, uh, because they, they have not fulfilled the three years of uh, their, well, the requirement for building up uh, mili our military capacity and our intelligence capacity to fight terrorism. That's why after the withdrawal, with 18 months after the withdrawal, the terrorism came back and Daesh uh, took uh, uh, one-third of the country, took uh, control of one-third of the country uh, after the withdrawal. So the fault is, uh, actually, the, the, the reason is of two faults. Number one is the, is the American irresponsible withdrawal, and number two is the uh, regional uh, countries uh, intervention in our internal affairs. Okay. Because they don't they do want uh, this democracy to, to succeed. Okay, but looking to the future, we have uh, we, we've had Daesh been removed from most of the country, most of Iraq. There's been a lot of celebration over that. But in recent days, there's been a rash of killings in areas like Salahuddin uh, in Iraq, which has been claimed by Daesh. Uh, do you think this is a concern in terms of uh, a revival of the insurgency in parts of Iraq? There is certainly a, a grave concern uh, in my mind. Uh, the, the political environment, the security environment in the country, the economic environment in the country is exactly the same environment in 2014. So, of, so the environment for the resurgence of Daesh is there. Until and unless we tackle these economic problems. We tackle the, uh, the political inclusion issue. We tackle the immigration issue. We tackle the uh, employment. We tackle, oh, there are so many issues. We need the, the future, the, well, the, the, the new government or the, the government which is going to be formed in the next few months uh, has huge challenges ahead of it uh, to, to stop Daesh and to stop ISIS from resurgent again. Resurgent again. Okay, good to speak to you. Uh, Iraq's former national security advisor, Muwafaq al-Rubai, speaking to us there from Baghdad.